Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the Kettlebell Goblet Box Squat. This video is part of a big series of videos meant to teach people basic kettlebell technique in a logical order. We start with deadlift, we move to swings, we go to single arm, we learn to change hands, we learn to clean to get our rack position proper, we add the press. After we have learned our swings, our clean, and our press, three fundamentals, we jump towards squats. Squats are a fundamental human athletic movement and we should be very good at them. Kettlebells are an absolutely excellent way to train squats at home. It's an intermediate weight with intermediate levels of complexity, but it's something that absolutely everybody can benefit from. We're going to use a pickup technique that we have already learned previously in this series. Think of the base position of this as the bottom of a halo. Step up to our kettlebell, two thumbs towards the sky, thumbs in front, kettlebell directly between our feet. Pick up the weight, elbow towards hip. We do not want to lay the kettlebell on our body or extend our elbows out. Squeeze your elbows together, get the kettlebell off your body. We're gonna find our box. The lower the box, the better, but start with a high box if you need to. Feet pointed generally straight ahead. Get down to the box, sit all the way down. The most important part that we wanna learn here is to lean back very slightly. That allows us to learn to fire our core better. A main problem people have in the beginning when squatting is they're too far forward, their knees are forward, and their heels are off the ground. By leaning back, we ensure that our heels are on the ground when we stand up. Stand all the way up. Get down, lean back, drive forward, stand up. Get down, lean back, drive forward, stand up. Get down, lean back, drive forward, stand up. At no point in this movement are we laying the kettlebell on our body or flaring our elbows to the side. Elbows tight, weight off the body, stand all the way up at the top. To set the bell down, straighten two arms out all the way, set it down directly between the insteps of our feet. If we set it down in front of us, people tend to track forward. At that point, they can hurt their back. The goal of kettlebelling is to not get hurt. It is to get our core to fire more effectively so that we can use heavier weights so we can get what we want out of training. At the top of every squat, we do the same thing we do at the top of a swing, the same thing we do at the top of a clean and press. We straighten our legs all the way out by driving our knees back. We put our weight in our heels. We pull our kneecaps up to flex the quads. By having a weight in front of us, it will encourage us to tuck our tailbone, to squeeze our glutes as hard as possible. The important part as we're holding the bell with this version of the exercise is upper arm vertical, lower arm parallel to the ground, 90 degree angle in the arm. That allows us to have our wrist in the correct spot. If our hands are too high, it makes it hard for us to close the index finger thumb part of our hand. Take that wrist, lower it all the way down, 90 degrees. Errors that people will make when they pick up the bell, some people will have one foot turned out. This is very common in the beginning of training because people tend to have one stronger leg and one supporting leg. Point the feet straight ahead. Be honest with yourself if they're actually pointed straight ahead. Get down to the bottom. That lean back is very important. The further back you go, the more your core will try to engage. The heavier the weight, the more your core will try to engage. Start with a light weight, work on the technique. Stand all the way up. Straighten the legs all the way, squeeze the glutes. Easiest way to do this in the beginning is two breaths. Breathe out at the bottom, breathe out at the top. If you're doing this exercise with a heavy weight, you'll probably inhale at the bottom, exhale at the top. Always set the weight down with good technique. Straight arms, eyes up, look out in the distance. Set it down directly between the feet. In the beginning, 
This tends to be taught as an EMOM. Every minute on the minute, you would do say three to five reps because we're not trying to train to failure when we're learning. When you're learning something, if you go to failure, it means your technique will break down. It means you are more likely to get hurt. So we pick a low number, three to five reps. We do it inside of a minute. We set the weight down, we rest. Over time, we would add more sets instead of heavier weight. We want people to work with a light weight and focus on their technique and add sets. That way the intensity stays the same because we're not adding more reps. That way people can focus on the technique, they can get better, so eventually they can go up to heavier weights with good technique.